Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm back again with another war video. Uh, it's a war against SGCOC. It's like a Sing Singapore COC elite. And we had a slight mix up without my path. And anyways, I ended up having to do path eight. So I haven't done it in like forever. So uh, we'll see how I do. So I start on node five, I believe. That's the one that where many people use Sabertooth at the core was trap. But anyways, I decided to go in with Quake uh, just because power lock one doesn't matter and if I have any region, it won't matter much either. And yeah, so it's Angela and it shouldn't be too big of a deal there. We just kind of like, yeah, we boost it up and we can see one set of aftershock charges nearly take her out, a heavy attack and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all she wrote there. We do lose some health because of boost and suicides, obviously, but aside from that, it was super quick and easy fight. And then I have an empty node, and we're moving up to section number section two. Uh, so we're teleporting up there, and yeah, then I have three fights in a row. I think I was just trying to make sure that I'm hitting the right teleport, because it has been absolutely forever since I have been on the right side of the map. And... So yeah, I see a skill champion here, I check out the nodes, I want to double check that there is no heal block anywhere. So I think that's what I'm going to do here, alright, I'm just going through all of the nodes, checking there are no heal blocks in case I bring in Quake. Because uh, yeah, it has been absolutely forever since I have done uh, Path 8. I don't think I have ever actually done it, but yeah, so uh, we're going in and so I end up scouting this fight out and it turned out to be Agent Venom so uh, at least according to the scouter lens so I decided to go in with Ghost and uh, that should be fairly kind of like a simple and easy fight I do make a mistake here I shouldn't have like blocked but it's not a big deal anyways uh, it's kind of like a minor mistake and yeah we're getting to our first level 2 and that's about it so this node is pretty much also like a warm-up node. The next two nodes are more interesting ones. Next one is biohazard one. So we need either somebody that's bleed immune or deals well with bleed, basically. Uh, but uh, I scouted and the opponents uh, placed magic over there. So Quake seemed like a perfect option. That's why I brought in Quake and Ghost because both of them could technically do this biohazard node and also the flare node one after, depending who I face there. And then, yeah, I used Scouter Lens and checked who's on there and decided which would be the better option for which fight. But anyways, yeah, so we're quaking this magic. Uh, it's dead easy. It's like two sets of aftershock charges. It's all done. I think I am going to make a small slip up and she's going to tag me here once just before the aftershock charges expire. And yeah, so here she hits me, but yeah, it's just a waste of few potions, but it's not a big deal. I was in no danger over there, but still a mistake nonetheless. And the next fight, next fight is going to turn out to be Infinity War Iron Man, which I am not too happy kind of about because I th think unless you're playing like Corvus, then uh, he can still kind of catch you towards end bit. But anyways, I end up going in with Ghost obviously because Quake can't wait against him. So we have here we have to watch out for Flare, aggressive regeneration, and this fight isn't going to go perfect because I'm gonna. I uh, get a little bit of jitters, but then I decide to go for intercept and that works out and we're hitting him for 20 hits uh, That was a quick fight uh, <laughs> Fun one seven hits I believe and Iron Man went down The flare is super fun now. I wish they would use flare in more of the newer content But anyways, and now we're gonna go to the best fight of this war at least for me and That's gonna be the Medusa immunity mini boss so I decided that I'm just gonna go in with Quake and Quake her out. It's been a while since I had a proper good Quake fight, so I was hoping to have one here. And yeah, so as we all know, uh, the top right mini boss is fu fully immune, so she can't get stun, she can't get concussion on. That means we're gonna have to fully dexterity and heavy all of the incoming attacks which is what we're gonna end up doing and as you can see here we're dealing solid damage even uh, with not too many aftershock charges can't complain overall for our damage output we're not even a minute in we're 40 seconds in and she already lost over 30% health 
So the fight is gonna last for about like a minute, maybe a minute and 15 seconds. And that's a good kill kill speed for a 5 star champion. Um, but yeah, so as you can see here, Medusa is trying to uh, attack at us, but yeah. So long as you can kind of like keep steady and in your rhythm with Quake, these fights are like really easy. And so we're gonna finish this fight in a second. I will die in this war, however, though, just because uh, we had our boss open and it was only like a few minutes left in war, so I really rushed in uh, trying to kill that void boss just because, uh, yeah, we didn't have too much time left. Unfortunately, I didn't record it, but I did mess up towards the end and I died, so I did die. Uh, so that's my second death of the season. As, as far as it goes for NY in season, we're 4 0, so we're still going well. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm hoping to see you guys soon back in the channel. If you did like the video, please hit that like or sub button. But that's enough for me today, and I'm gonna see you later, guys.